Oh shit! Officially. Welcome the fuck back. Welcome back to the PG. To no, to the not so not PG so PG Christmas special. Okay. Good evening. We are back. <laughs> we are back with another not so PG podcast, and we want to we want to we, we want to wish you a very merry Christmas from us and no, our family. Happy holidays. A happy ho- fucking dick. Oh my god. Jesus was born on this day. So was so. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Indeed, all Indeed. the holidays. All the holidays. Do I have a story to tell you? What's on the story? On the serious note. Yes. Very scary. Go on. I thought I killed someone. Whoa! Who'd you kill? I thought I did. Who'd you almost kill? So I was having sex. Mm. Oh, this is a, a almost. Uh, what's the fucking what's the show? Thousand Ways to Die. No, what's the show that all the women oh. watch? That's like, oh, oh, like, uh, oh, Dateline. Like, yeah, just like a date, almost a date Yeah, like a Dateline, like, murder husband. Do you think you know your husband? <laughs> okay, Wait, listen, bro, this is fucking scary. Wait, can you tell it like it's a Dateline story? Or no, is that going to be difficult? I'm trying, I'm trying to think of one the last time. That could be funny. Nah, just tell your story. There he was. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, wait, let me tell you. It's fucking... St- okay. So, we were in a bathroom, right? Yeah. And she was over the sink... Okay. Bent over, I'm hitting it from the back. Nice. I like the back, I like the booty hole. We all know this. Who doesn't? We all know this. We Who all love the booty hole. Who doesn't? Go on. And I pull her hair, obviously. Clearly. Going like this. I'll set the scene for you. Yes. And then I choke her. Okay. And then she goes, that's it? Level 1000. <laughs> <laughs> Primal <laughs> instincts kick in. So obviously, you know, she wants me to choke her harder. I choke her harder. Okay. Squeeze a little tighter. She didn't even make any noise. So I was like, okay, I didn't even, I didn't even fucking squeeze that hard. You mm-hmm. know? You know, I'll set the scene again. Go on, yeah. Go a little harder now. Yes. She's loving it. Having a great time. But having a ball. You know, having a fucking ball. Yes. Right? Yeah. Collapses on the floor. Actually? Bro, I'm talking like, have you ever seen the videos of like people like dying? Like on Twitter? <laughs> where like their bodies just fucking drop. Oh my God. Swear to God, starts having a seizure on the floor. Oh my gosh. How do I not know the story? Bro, <laughs> bro how about I was sitting there. Fucking long jaws hanging out. I'm like, <laughs> fucking, she's kicking the, the oh, garbage. No. I was like, so I put her on her fucking side. And I was like, are you okay? You know, I'm tapping her. Are you all right? It was only like a five, 10 second seizure. But bro, I was like, are you okay? You know, oh, I got a fucking goodness. rock hard boner. I'm scared shitless. Oh my gosh. And she wakes up. She goes, what happened? All happy. I was like, I like, you don't even fucking know. How about I almost cried? I swear to God. I was like, scared shitless. I was like, are you okay? Dude, you almost fucked her to death. <laughs> Literally, no, no, genuinely, I, like, I almost cried. Like, it was the scariest moment of my fucking life. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so serious. Wow. It was. Did so, she ask you to keep going after, or was she over it too? At that well, point? she looked at me and she goes, "Do you want to finish?" And I was like, "No." Oh, you didn't, bro. You fucking I just, girl a seizure. You can't even finish for her. You piece of shit. She, yes, what a dick. No, she was doing that for me. Like, she was like, "Do you want to finish?" Like, uh, like I'm sorry, I just fucking. I was gonna say, you, you give know, this poor girl out of the seizure. mouth in front of you. Give Mine. This, Fucking me to make you happy. I was like, I'm good. I understand you wouldn't want to keep going. I don't what think do you I mean, either. bro? I, bro, my like my heart went down to my dick. You know that feeling when your heart goes out mm. of your dick, and then it elongated my boner by like three inches because it went that far down and extended <laughs> <What>? it. <laughs> That's a joke. I but no, say. genuinely, I can so was- see Gianni being into what's that thing called when they fuck dead people? Necrophilia? Is that what it's- yeah, he had the answer for that a little bit too fast. <laughs> Gianni's How about I watch like a whole uh, documentary on this woman that got caught? Actually, she worked at a morgue, and she would like fuck the dead guys Whoa. before they would go to a Whoa. funeral. Like before, Whoa. like she would be like the person that like ma- does the makeup oh on my them, goodness. and then she would ride their dick. A well, so this is how. She, actually, you want to hear how she got caught? Uh, One of the guys was uh, like he passed very like recently, so his sperm was actually still alive inside of him. And she got pregnant by a no dead guy. Way. No way. Swear to way. God. No Swear way. Swear to God, she got pregnant by a dead guy. That's how she got caught. No way. Swear to God. Because they, they did a DNA test, and then it went back that it was a guy that was dead. And they were like, well, how the fuck did this happen? He's been dead, you know, for this long. Well, that doesn't make sense. You get a dead guy off? He yeah. 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 No. Swear to God. Like, people, like, when they die, they could still fart. They could still, like, their nails. Yeah, she, like, she, what's that song? She said they, they, they got boners and stuff. What's that song? Like, some of them. If I die young. Lay get me, me get fucked in make my casket. Me come. <laughs> if that's possible. 
Oh, I did. I got, I got. Yeah, yo, wait, time out real quick. Back to my story. How scary is that? Awesome. No, what no, would you do? About, what do you do in that scenario? Because I didn't know what I, bro, there was nothing to do. Like, I genuinely have never been more was scared in my life. Was she hot? Of course she was, huh? Um, release her from prison the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm talking about my story. Oh. Oh. In the bathroom. Oh, you're back to that one? Yeah. Oh, no, it's terrifying. No, but what would you do? Like, what do you well, do in there? I do? I do the same like, thing. Like, I'm trying to see if I did the right I'd thing. I'd set her on her side. I'd probably call me Yeah, that's what I did. One. Well, no, it was only like, so a, it was only five to ten seconds. Fair enough. I'd, I'd do exactly what you did. Except I'd be a man and I'd finish for the poor girl. <laughs> she didn't want it. She was doing it for my sake. She was like, oh, like. Are you sure? You just thought she was doing it for your sake. No, no, no. She, she's, she's, I was like, I was like, do you want it? She was like, no, like, this is for you. Like, I feel bad. I just uh, had a seizure on the floor. I was like, what do you yeah, mean? You feel good. bad? I was like, did I, you think, sleep with her I think we'll go watch. Did yeah. You go? Oh, okay. How yeah. Was, how was the second time? Twas, twas good. Twas good. Twas good. Twas the night before Christmas. Twas not there the was night no before teacher. Christmas. <laughs> uh, I have a better necrophilia story for you. What? What do you? So there is a girl. Okay. And she is in on vacation in Mexico. Oh, you're all right. How about none of that spilled? You're, she's on vacation in Mexico. Okay. And she's out partying with her friends, and she meets a guy who's very wealthy, has a, has a house in Mexico, keeps inviting her back, and she's like, oh, do I do it? Do I do it? She, she has him back to her hotel. She, she does the whole nine and just thinks this guy's perfect. And uh, literally nothing could be wrong. Anyways, trip's about to be over. One of the last nights there, he's like, come, come back to my, my house in, in Mexico, right? She, I think she goes back to his house and just something feels off and she like instantly leaves. Mm-hmm. Or... No, no, no. Oh, my gosh. She, she starts doing, like, she starts having sex with him, pretty much. Okay. He comes on her. Okay. She leaves. Like, instantly, like, right after, he was saying, oh, come, stay, like, stay for dinner. She was like, no, no, no. Something feels off. She runs out the door, flies home. Gets a rash all over her back. Okay. Really bad. Goes to the doctor, gets it tested, because she has no idea what it is. She's never seen a rash like this in her life. And the doctor says, do you work on dead bodies? And she's like, no. She goes, the disease you have on your back is you only dead bodies get it or only people that contract things from dead bodies get it. She goes, he goes, have you slept with anybody recently that, you know, that works around dead bodies? She goes, the last guy I slept with was a guy in Mexico. How about the doctor sent police to that house? There's dead bodies everywhere? He was, he was sleeping with dead bodies and eating people. And she was about to be next. So when he said stay for dinner, she was the dinner. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. How about she She just stopped another Jeffrey Dahmer? No, yeah, he was, bro. That he is was, fucking he was, crazy. He, they found bodies. That he was what? Where do you find a fuck? story like that? Oh, insane. The girl, it's, it's, like, it's a real story. You can look it up. You can literally look this up. How insane is that story? Crazy. Crazy. The only way he got caught was because his cum had, had the disease in it from fucking the dead bodies. Bro, that's fucking insane. Oh my gosh, I know. Oh my gosh. She literally just stopped another Jeffrey Dahmer. She stopped somebody. And it, in Mexico, no less. But yeah, they sent police there and everything because the doctor said the only way this is possible is if this guy's sleeping with dead bodies. That is fucking mind-boggling. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Yep. And how about, I've heard multiple stories of people getting that rash and finding out the person that slept with them had uh, was a necrophiliac. But like, why would you even want that? To sleep with a dead body? Well, yeah. Well, you got other fuck? psychological issues. That's what not, the fuck? That's not just a kink. What the f- no, that, that's, You're beyond kink at that point. You're fucking... There's something wrong in I your wonder head. what that is. But here's the thing. It's not even like it's like, oh, say a guy that can't get a, like a girl. He was sleeping with the girl already. Yeah, so he had like, to be it wasn't at like least needed... decently good looking. Yeah, no, no, apparently he was great. He seemed like a great guy. Holy well, shit. Well, I mean, that's what Dahmer was doing. He was sleeping. Wasn't he sleeping? Dahmer was an ugly Yeah, wasn't either. he sleeping with his like guys and then killing them and eating them? You didn't watch the podcast? The, the, I the, did, but the, I don't remember. No, he would just meet them at a bar. He used to have like this one motel that he would take them back to every time. And, you know, he would just have sex with them. Now you're my dinner. And oh, then wait, Dahmer the ate them? What? That was the biggest thing about him. He was eating he them. He was a cannibal. Wow. Bro, remember they opened the fridge. They found a, a, a whole, bro, they found a whole decapitated head in his freezer. Oh, my gosh, bro. What? Dude. Wait, Dahmer. what? You bro, don't know what Dahmer used to by do? The, by the end of that show, they, they said there's. Wait, like, Dahmer, Dahmer used to make soup and feed it to these guys. With like hu- other humans in it. Yeah, he had to be a social. He, he would make you eat but them. What is that, right? Like what? Yeah, it was creepy as fuck. Wait, but what? What is that? Like that's that's a sociopath, right? Someone that doesn't feel emotions for other yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, they said but he's they, a sociopath. They claim that, but he know, so he. This is why he was so good. He was a sociopath. Was he a psychopath? But, but I don't know. We have to fact check that. 
but he was good at acting like he normal. Was, like, like he had emotions. That's why he knew how to fake emotions. That's what made him so dangerous. That's why people didn't like the Netflix documentary because they felt like it humanized him too much toward the end. That you felt bad for him. Okay, so because is it he was bad like, that I, I, I felt really bad. Well, like I was rooting. I was rooting for him. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, he was eating them. Yeah. Wait, G. I'm listening. Like, they didn't like that they humanized Dahmer because in the end they had him in the Netflix show, like, apologizing, feeling regretful about all of this. But didn't he do that? He I'm probably said it in court and stuff, but if yeah, you're he, a person that a, could... Just, Jenna, you're sitting there with a body that you just killed. Him. <sighs> yeah. Oh. You don't... You're oh soulless. Oh, my God. You don't feel bad after you're, you're... You feel bad you got caught. You acted on your emotions. But Dahmer's father said that he had those urges as well. Yeah, he did. And just never acted on them. Well, so, so, so it was in his blood. Well, that's the thing. It's 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 the same thing as a kink almost is what I found out. Like when I I, I watched, I love this stuff. Like I loved watching like killer documentaries and all that stuff. And I watched this one where it was a, a guy that like interviews a bunch of serial killers. Mm -hmm. And he said that it's almost like a kink. He literally said this where like, let's say you love shit, right? You get into that. Now you're always going to love shit on your dick, right? Once you have that first kill, you have an urge to get that other kill and you need it. You need it in your life. It's like having sex without the shit. Now you're like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, shit. Now you're living life normally and you don't have a dead body in your fridge and you're fucking pissed that there's no fucking body in there. I'm serious though, that's what he said. He was like, it's literally almost like a, like a hunger. For, like, Can you, you imagine need it. what it feels? I, I would like, I wouldn't like it, but I am curious what it feels Just like. Just to feel it. To have that urge. Yeah, what the that serious urge to want to murder a human. That's insanity. Did you yeah, know apparently like. pig is so dirty that if you put pig and human flesh next to each other and ate them, you couldn't tell a difference? And ate it? I don't think it's that how dirty the pig is. I think that pig is the closest That would make us dirty. It's no 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 pig is we the are dirty. pig is the closest tasting to humans. Is it? That's what yeah. we yeah. Really? The the, cl the closest tasting animal you could taste that to a human is pig. Well now I'm curious. Is what we've been told. And it's actually what they've, they've asked... Because I love pig. Well, uh, they've asked people that have eaten humans, and they say pig is the closest. Really? So then but they say it has its own taste. Why wouldn't they just eat... Uh, it has its own... It's not... I was going to say, not, at that point, you just eat pork. It's not exact, but the texture and everything is... Pig is the closest that you're going to get to a human. I can see that, because we're more, like, more firm Well, like, think, think of, like, a pig skin. It's yeah. kind of like a yeah, it's, it, it, Yeah. You know? I can see that. But the visual of yeah, it, but, yeah, compared like, to other animals. Yeah. Think about how thin your dog's skin is. Like, it's nowhere yeah, close. Yeah, no way. Right? But I don't know. I feel like if I was going to eat a human, <laughs> would you want it to be a guy or a girl? Would you eat a chick or a dude? Oh, shit. If you eat a chick's ass, is that how you do it? No, it'd be too fatty. You want some meat in there. You want like a thigh. You want a thigh. Or like a bicep. Like a, dude, like a strong guy's thigh. Nah, because now you have to think of like cows, right? Yeah. You, you want there to be a little bit of fat. You don't want like a jack guy. Because then yeah. they, there's no more. That's not no A5 Wagyu. You know, you need like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm serious. You're gonna eat how a human. You eat like a like a mediocrely money, like slightly overweight person. How much money would it take for you to eat a slice of a human? Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not fucking crazy, but a slice. Right. If 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 this person like died under like normal circumstances, let's say like car accident or something. No, you're on and an in island. their will. Okay. They said someone has to eat. I you. want someone to try me. Have them eat me. For whatever price they would ever imagine, I would try it for free. No, no, I'm saying let's say okay, let's laws aside. You know they wait, wait, really wait, wait, wanted wait, someone wait, to wait, wait, do wait, it. No, at stop the end. trying to justify it. The reason you would, tr no matter what, you would try. You're not it. curious. You, no, no, I, no. Okay, no, so here's my thing. Not. I love trying absolutely new not. new foods. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, don't change your mind because I'm judging you. No, because I'm thinking about it. Like nah, when you're sitting there with the fucking. Don't change piece. your mind now because I'm judging you. You fucking creep. You would try a human if you're given the opportunity. Holy shit, my I brother's a sociopath. Would. I probably would. You wouldn't? No. You wouldn't? <laughs> oh, gee. I guess I'm fucking crazy. You, so, like, I'm not cutting shit. No, like, the okay, listen. The world's gonna know. I'm saying a human. it's so like like this person before they died gave consent, saying I Fuck want my it. body to Johnny, go to listen, food. Listen, no, listen, I'm listen. saying like I wouldn't want to do it without them knowing. Right, like right. at least now they know. No one, no one cares about the justification of, of how the person died and if they're okay with I, it. I care though. The me, fact I care though. Of the matter. That's not for them. That's for me. Cool. Let's say that happened. At the end okay. of the day, yes, you would try a human, and if you liked it, you'd probably keep eating it. No, 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 no. 
If you're willing if you to like try chicken it, and found out that every time you ate a chicken, a bomb was sent no, to some fucking different. country, you're that's, not gonna you're gonna keep eating that chicken. That's different. That's different. That's it's not different. though. No, if you ate a chicken, the chicken's already dead. You're gonna keep eating it if you like it. So if you yeah, but I'm not gonna go murder people to go eat fucking people. No, no, no. I'm saying I'm giving you a, a steak of a human. Okay. You eat a bite of it, it's delicious. <laughs> What's your next step? Finish the steak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yo, which you gotta be in that scenario, bro. That's a crazy scenario to be yeah, in. The, the whole thing for me is like, even if I have a bite out of it, like I gotta remember, the, I'm ingesting a human. It's horrible. You gotta remember, they used to do that in olden times, though. Yes, they cannibals. Can how about there's still there's still African tribes out there that are cannibals? Not you trying to justify it. Well, there's people in this world right now that are cannibals and they're a full tribe in Africa. And guess what? If you go to that island, you're getting fucking eaten. So don't go to that island. And they're, they're allowed to do it. Fast forward. No one's going to John, arrest that. John is on the island with them. <laughs> fucking eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you see the story about the guy that went to that island? I think it was in Africa. And, and they all come out with fucking spears. No, that island. Not even that. Yeah, that one's creepy. Australia. That was in Australia. But there was another one where a guy was trying to convert them to Christianity and they killed him. That one in Australia. So this guy went to an island in Australia. Why would you with do the that? purpose of trying to convert them to Christianity and they well, why would you do they that? killed him? Like what what makes you go through that head? What, what, what like what's going through your head? Because he went there. Well, because and said, he said, I'm going, I'm going to convert there. the indigenous people to Christianity. And he was killed. That's like saying I went to Utah and died. How'd you know I went to Utah and died? Yeah, no, you went because you knew I was going to Utah. Said I'm converting these. Well, people <laughs> you know do that. I mean? People go with a goal of converting people to Christianity. There's <sighs> wait. So I heard another story too recently where they, there's this tribe in Africa, and there's this guy that's been there for 20 years trying to convert them to Christianity. 20 years, and, so you just and, give and up they don't at some give point. a shit. They 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 keep turning the Bible pages into joints and they keep smoking them. <laughs> <laughs> That's that? fucking hilarious. Yeah, talk about not they, giving a fuck. Well, bro, they don't. They don't understand. And they, they've so they've tried to take some of them back. These these African people are very good looking. They have insanely good features. They're tall. They're athletic. And and they've said to them like, "Do you want to come to America? Like, we'll make you a model. Like, we can set up yeah. a contract." This really big millionaire was down there like living with the tribes, explaining this to these people, and they're like, "America isn't that the place where people kill themselves?" Like no, but well, yeah, bro. They, that's the they love the they simplicity life because they don't. They, they, they don't even know it's when you explain suicide they what, to these people. Yeah. they're like suicide. They're, they're not depressed. They, yeah. they they run all day. They they hunt, and they come back and they they're so happy. They dance. They drink, yeah. and then they re repeat the day. None of them are depressed. None of them. So so they, when they hear stories of America, they're like, wait, you get your food from a supermarket? You don't go hunt it yourself. Yeah, they don't. Know, like, they don't know what's. They're going like, on why that. would I want that? Yeah, they're like I don't want that. They how about they would probably be miserable if they came here and just 100%. sat around because they have the, like as humans we have. We have human reward systems, right? And these people are living those same primal reward systems that if you probably took it away from them, it would probably be devastating. So they don't, they don't even want to come here, these people. I wouldn't. And I that's, but that's a big reason people are depressed today because people are very comfortable now. Again, as humans, we have these human reward systems where you need to reward yourself. So if you don't do something like go to the gym... Anything, anything, anything yeah. to create a reward system for yourself, you're going to be depressed. Yeah, that's why it is so important that you create some sort of reward system for yourself. A hobby, right? Write anything. something. A hobby. Go for a run. Like you need to do something. If you think that, like, oh, you made enough money, now you're just going to sit pretty and be happy. That is not the case. Yeah, no, there, it's not. there's no beautiful image of a future where you're laying on a golden bed. I mean, and being fed grapes. There's literally, you'll be happy for a day doing that. Wait, look at James, James Bourdain. The, the food oh, Anthony guy. Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. Look at him. I mean, he, he was, he had so much money. He had an amazing TV show. Yeah. I used to sit down and watch his TV show all the time. Yeah. Loved his TV show. He used to travel across the whole world and watch things. And in his note, he said, I've, I've, I've seen everything. There's nothing left for me on this world. But he was, he, he was, he, yeah, he was, he was there was sad. other things. He had probably, and not a bad thing to say. Apparently, Anthony Bourdain's friend said that he spent all of his energy mm -hmm. helping other people. Like he, yeah, he spent all of his time and energy going and helping his friends and never putting it any of it back. He never, yeah, I was going to say, he never a year, took time for himself. A year before he passed, he called up one of his buddies who actually told this tribal story, yeah. the, the multimillionaire. Huh. And he, he called up one of his buddies and was like, dude, like, how do you deal with the fame? Like, how do you do it? He's like, I'm just, I'm so like not here. And a year later, he took his life. So sad. sadly, but I love that guy. It's, but so it, sad. it's crazy. It's always, it's always the people you wouldn't expect that are just, you know, living. always. Yeah. And, and not to get back into it, but it's, it's, it's crazy how people view life very simplistically and they're like, oh, how is this person depressed? I'm depressed because I don't have a lot of money and a good job. And it's like, you have to understand, I don't think that's where depression lies for everyone. 
I mean, take it take it from this guy. This guy traveled the world, had yeah. an amazing television show, had a bunch of money, had a great girlfriend, I think, too, at the time. I think so. And even so. if he didn't, still, he could have gotten one, I'm sure. <laughs> guy, guy, guy was a multi-millionaire. Yeah. Um, multi-millionaire. So, I think with that being said, if you're at home and you're, you're depressed, don't think that, hey, if I land this job, if I make more money, it's going to get better. If it, you have to kind of go deeper within yourself, figure out your past traumas and work on just being happy with who you are. If you mm. could do that and then, you know, go into your higher life and succeed, you will be a much more successful and much happier person, I would say. I agree. What's your all-time favorite Christmas movie? You're going to hate me. What? I have never finished a full Christmas movie. You've never watched the fucking outfit you have on? I watched most of it. What are you talking about? Buddy? Like, I've watched the first it? half, and then I think I've watched, like, oh, the second what? half. I've never sat down and watched it in its entirety. What? Oh, oh my God. Know. Wait, wait, wait. Holy shit. On the topic of Christmas. Mm. 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 Yeah. So, I saw a TikTok that came across, and it was a couple mm-hmm. shopping at, like, I think a Walmart, whatever it is. Oh, oh. What's the store that is right down the block from us where the food truck is? That's like Home Goods. Okay, Home Goods. They were at a Home Goods, and they were looking at little, you know, the little Christmas trees that everyone buys. Mm-hmm. They were looking for different ones to shove up their ass. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Oh my god, I saw a doctor walking through and picking up those same things and saying, "Do not put this where this do not." Yeah. Fall. So, so, the, so these people, it's a, it's a massive community actually, and I went through the comments to make sure it was a community. It's a community of people that during Christmas time they'll buy these little Christmas trees. And they were going through the store to make sure that they had a, like a plug almost at the back so to make sure that it didn't disappear up inside them. Mm-hmm. So she was like, she would grab a Christmas tree and it would only have a circle bottom. She was like, this one would get lost. And then go to the next Christmas tree. I swear to God. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking and about. Then, She's a stripper. Her content's actually No, no, so no. This was, this was a normal like 45-year-old woman mm-hmm. with her husband. I swear to God. This was a normal couple. And they were like, time for Christmas. You know what that means, hubby. And they walked to Home Goods and bought Christmas trees to shove up her ass. But only the ones with stoppers. She's like, this one's good, but it's prickly, so we won't use it. We learned that last year. I was like, how about it was like full-on needles? I was like, you couldn't have figured that out before you bought it? I could tell you right now through the phone, it's sharp and going to cut your asshole. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. The ER doctor was saying, he goes, for Christmas time, the amount of people that come in with like broken things that they've placed up their ass... Is it happens every year? So many people. A big one, actually, that I did notice is ornaments. People put ornaments up their ass. Yes, I swear to God. Look it up. Look it up. I watched a documentary about the I ER. Love documentaries. I love documentaries. I love documentaries. Mm, a good docu series. You do. From a good documentary, you learn a lot about fucking ornaments up your ass. That makes me happy. Talking about glass up your ass. Have you ever seen One Man, One Jar? You spoke about this. No, we didn't, because you ignored me when I said it the first time. We did. Did we not? No. I've never heard of One Man, One Jar. I thought it was just One You never heard of One Man, One Jar? I thought it was just One Man, One Girl, One Cup. No, two girls. Two girls, One Cup. One Cup. Madam. One Man, One Jar is about a lovely man who loves jerking off. That's okay. It's okay to love jerking off. Mm. But he likes jerking off with things up his butt, booty. And no, I'll do the hand. He, he oh, you do the him. hand. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And while he was jerking off, he said, this massive mason jar seems like the right size for my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and, I wait. I really don't understand where this could so this go. Is, so he's jerking off, gets the jar, squats down on said jar. Squat down, Pete. Jar is in butthole. Jar explodes inside butthole. <sighs> Blood everywhere. Blood everywhere. So he decides, fuck the doctor. Doctors for pussies. Let me get my fist in there and start pulling shards of glass out of my ass. Oh my God, that should be a song. What? Shards of glass out out of my my ass. ass. Shards Shards of glass glass out of my ass. I feel like you could do a good Rick and Morty impersonation. Wait, but how crazy is that? This guy was sitting there for like 10 minutes straight pulling glass out of his ass. Yeah, if you want to look it up, it's pretty hard. No, don't don't look it up. Don't look it up. That is a fucking terrible video with a lot of blood. And how about, I've heard rumors that he did not make it. 
because he bled out. He didn't even react. He literally sat there. How about there's audio. There is zero screaming. And the guy's sitting there. Zero pain. No shaking. Nothing. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? I don't know. I'm feeling funny. You feeling funny? Yeah, I go. You're you pulling glass out of his ass. That's it. Yeah. Glass out of the Pretty ass. incredible video. I feel like you don't get wild videos like that anymore. Yeah, where'd the sick fucks go? What's yeah. up with that? So I just sick confirmed. Fucks. I looked it up. He died. He died. Right oh, after making, I, 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 right after uploading yeah. the video. Oh my God. Yeah, I told you. Wait, so he posted it. He and then never died? rewatched the video. He uploaded it right away and died immediately after. We love a good sex. Have fuck. you ever been broken up with? Yeah, we called her. You fucked me up. Oh yeah. yeah. How about before, have you ever been broken up with? Like, no, nah, no. Nah, I only had one girlfriend before that one, and she cheated on me. Fucking bitch. Kill you. I'm kidding. Actually, actually, she's she's a very nice lady. I talked to her. So actually, no, I'm not. I don't talk to her still. When I went to college, I still talked to her because she was in my classes. I was like, oh, look at the, what are the odds? Oh, I Hello. remember her. She did cheat on you. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I cried a lot. Mm. I cried a lot. You were young. Didn't I say something you really fucked up to you where I was like. Do you think there's ever. Okay. Fuck off. Do you think there's ever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't sad as a child. Do I go fuck think, myself. Do you, do you think there's ever any retribution for. Cheating. Cheating. That you should stay together. What do you mean in that sense? Like, like is there? Is it okay? In is it any ever okay to get back with somebody after they cheated on you? Oh. Oh, I could never. Once you fucking know, and it's like you already proved to me that you don't respect me or this relationship mm -hmm. enough to, you know, keep it in your pants. I agree. I don't think I could ever recover. From you know what I mean? Like, I would just never be able to like. Look at you, like, I'm, I'm fucking crazy. You don't fucking know who I am. I'm crazy. I'll, <laughs> like, I'll just look at you and be like, you fucking, you did this to me. Like, what if you, you know, know what I mean? Like, the, I would go what, crazy what if you over know it. I would a, make myself go crazy. What if you know for a fact they're never going to do it again? Like, you know for a fact they fucked up. Well, then I'll work. Oh, oh, like, she'll never do it again. She'll never like, do it again. They. I was it like, was like, are they going to be It was a one-time, like, like, mistake. Another people. You know that, like, she even brought it up to you. You didn't even catch her. And she fucked up. She was drunk one night, and she's never gonna cheat on you again. Would you stay with her? It's a known fact. She's impossible. She's never gonna cheat on you again. Oh, that would take some fucking time. But would you? If you knew, like you're like you believe it. Yeah. If I, if prior to the cheating, I looked at her. She slept like, with somebody. Pee pee in her vagina. Well, you're not listening to me. If prior to this, I looked at her like I was ready to wife her up and impregnate this woman. And then it happened, I would still need probably like a fucking year to just mm -hmm. get it out of my system yeah. and then go do it myself. Yeah. Because you're not going to do that without no, me. No, I disagree. <laughs> but I, I disagree. think it would take me. Even I think if I knew, even if, if I knew. In the only circumstance that I thought I was going to marry this woman, I think mm -hmm. I would just for the sense of. I think it would have to depend. I think I would have to be so head over heels. It also so depends on how she cheated. Like where it happened, why it happened. She was out one night at a club, ended up at a hotel, really thought the guy was cute. Oh, fuck. And he slept with her, and that was that. And she was like, damn, I slept with this guy. He was cute. He was cuter than you. <laughs> and she cheated. Does he have a bigger dick? She doesn't remember. How about I'm never getting back with you if you can't tell me? Can't. All right, it was smaller than yours. I was kidding. That didn't change anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. That would fucking eat at me, bro. Well, it seems like you got a lot of figuring out to do. So for me, the moment that I get cheated on, I'm very good at disassociating and detaching from the relationship completely. I could be literally in love with you. If you cheat on me, I can put my mindset in a place where I imagine you shitting, I think. I think that's what I do. <laughs> I imagine you taking a big dump and I'm like, ew. I imagine I, my scene is like in the toilet looking up and I'm like, ew. I'm done. <laughs> How about I'm not kidding? How about my seven no, year I relationship at the end of the breakup? I really imagined her taking a really big poo. You told me this, and I was like, what and I was the like, fuck. Ew. And then every time I thought about her, instead of crying, I would just be like, oh my God, she shits. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, that girl poos? What the hell? And then any girl that I date afterwards, I always tell them, don't tell me you poo. If I ask if you poo, you don't. It, you work so hard that it just disappears in your system. You work so hard at being such a good it's girlfriend. Even worse. Now the poo is that the poo inside you just all in here disappears. And then if I ask if you fart, 
you toot. You toot. You do. You go. You do little puffs. Oh, what the fuck? This is what your fart should sound like if you date me. Oh really? I feel like I'd rather like a little, like a little one of those. A little, I don't want a fucking wind tunnel coming out of their ass. What do you? Oh, well, do you like a girl that is more horny than you are? Do you do you like it when a girl is like Fuck always initiating yeah. the sex and ready to go? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You know what I find? You know what I realize maturing Fuck. is? Maturing is realizing that girls have always been hornier than us. I know they're fucking. You're all fucking liars, yeah. bro. You're all fucking liars. You fucking all lied to me my whole fucking life. Yeah. And you get to a point when you're older as a guy that you realize, wait, the girls are hornier than us. They just have more self-control than us. Yeah, that shit came to me like a Which is crazy because you, like, yeah. you don't realize this usually, <laughs> only in some cases, but you don't, you don't usually realize this until you start dating a girl. Yeah. And they start wanting to sleep, have sex more than you do. And you're like, you'll go around with them. They're like, you ready for round two? And you're like, no. My whole life I thought <laughs> it was going to be me asking these questions. Yeah. What's happening? I don't know what that's about where... Females seem to be able to contain themselves more, but when in the proper scenarios, they seem to want to do it more. It's got to do it with testosterone, though. No, nothing to do with testosterone. They, they have no, less testosterone than us. No, why I'm saying, I'm saying with us, I'm saying, like, why we can't contain not, it? yeah, contain it. Because why are they Because your dick's us? looking at but you like, horny, get this out of me. But if they're hornier than us, then how come they can contain it better? Because they don't, they don't, nothing exits their body when they have sex. Yes, it does. You must have not. Pleasured many women. What exits their body? You, I'm saying like what? Like what we, we, we 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 lose we literally lose no, I testosterone. Get, I get, I'm saying. I get what you're saying. I know it's a squirting and coming like for but, a woman like they're not oh losing. God. Do you think anything? Women, do women get post nut clarity? I don't think so. Well, the woman, woman, the no. woman here is shaking her head. So, oh, here she comes. We talked about this once. You said that you don't think so because. They're already emotionally there before they decide to sleep with you. Mm. Mm. For so, you guys, like yeah. you decide after. Yeah. Honestly, so, I feel like most women are like almost more so like ready for you yeah. after. Honestly, the fact. it's so guys and girls are so different that like after I come and I'm sitting there and if if I don't know you very well yet, it's kind of an awkward feeling for me because all this testosterone that I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this and I'm feeling it. That goes out the window once I come. <laughs> so now I'm just sitting there and I'm like... Wait, what do you do with your soft dick if you don't know them? I'm like, put my underwear back yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, we should probably get dressed thinking, all right? Meanwhile, before I was like, I'm going to dick you down. <laughs> yeah, What's up? What's up, <laughs> up, baby girl? She's like, oh my God. And then I heard them like, all right, let's put my tight back on. But I think that's where like a lot of the post-dunk clarity comes. I'm like, why is this naked bitch in my bed? What's going on? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I only, I, only, I only sleep with girls that... um. Very connected with, so that would never happen. But there has been scenarios where the girl, I come and the girl is still into wanting to like make out and be hot because they're still, like, they don't get that clarity. Like they come and they, they can keep going, honestly. If yeah, they yeah, to. yeah. Are you sure you just didn't make her come? Oh, you stop it. There's only you one girl dog. that I ever couldn't make come. <laughs> and the reason was because she used way too many toys at home and I could not compete with a 5,000 <laughs> gajillawatt fucking electric vibrator. It's not happening. My dick can't vibrate at 100 millig- milliseconds a minute. You can, do a little, you can do a little finger flick <gasps> as you're fucking. <laughs> I'm trying to be a fuck. How about still not as fast? <laughs> yeah, but you don't gotta be that fast. You just gotta be good enough. Nah, dude, nah. Oh. I've realized that the girls that are, it's impossible for them to come is when they use toys at home. And the only mm. way you're going to make her come is if she brings her toys that she used to <laughs> into the bedroom. It's the only way. Yeah. So I, that's why, like, people are like, oh, why don't you bring toys into the bedroom? I'm not competing with my bitch <laughs> with a fucking robot, bro. What are you talking about? I got to compete with this fucking robot now that now when she wants to come, she's like, this dick don't even do it like this thing does. And has to hide from me <laughs> and fuck this robot behind my back. Is that cheating? Is that cheating? I think so. I'd say so. <laughs> she's fucking a robot. And now when this robot has AI sentient life, now she's fucking this thing. And now, how about that's what's going to start yeah, happening? but they're not talking People to her. People are going to start dating AI robots, and you and I are done. Whoa, would you, whoa, 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 whoa. Would you fuck a robot? Yes. What? Yes. Like, like, there's, <laughs> like, it feels like, like a real human. Just for, like, there's skin. Just I mean, obviously, like, the body's going to be hard, but, like. It's a nice, soft vagina. Does the you can thing enter move like it, a human? Everything. Does it move like a human? It's going to move a little funky. Well, yeah. Okay. Like a little robot-y. It's not going to move perfectly. 
you know it's a robot. You're going to talk like this. I think I'd feel weird doing it. I think it would feel, it'd feel too weird because it's like, what, you know that, that feeling where it's not, you know something's not human? <laughs> and now imagine putting your dick in that. Yeah, but then, th- but then you fuck a pocket pussy and then it's like, oh my God, wait, do you remember the TikTok trend of girls putting ice cubes up their punanis? No. What? That was a massive thing. What the fuck are you talking about? It was a massive thing. Was it? Bro, like what? Talking, well, what was it like my junior year of high school? When was that? It is a thing. Like, girls will, like, eat an ice cube and, like, give you head or you'll eat no, ice cube. No, no, no. Like, I'm talking put an ice cube up inside. Like, that was, like, a massive TikTok trend. What did it do? Where girls were, like, freezing, like, they were putting water in condoms and then freezing them. Wouldn't that them. just sh- shrink your dick? Because doesn't your dick shrink when you're cold? No, no, no. It's, it's for them, not for you. Like, like, I'm talking, like, when they masturbate, just put a fucking ice cube up there. Hmm. Yeah, there was, like, a massive thing on TikTok. Girls were, like... They were, it was, how about it was fucking hilarious. They were putting water in a condom, freezing it, and they would take it out. They would pull, like, a TikTok. They were like, you only know if you know. And it was like. What for you page do you have, bud? You don't fucking want to know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, so I was curious one day with a past woman. And so I went downstairs. Mm-hmm. I got a couple ice cubes. I was like, let me put one in. Oh, you did it? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, wow. I put it in. She was like, I hate it. I was like, okay. I, don't know, I was curious. I, oh, I want to know how it feels. Wait, she was like, wait. it feels fucking weird. So freaking back to the robot sex, right? Robot sex, yeah. So for me, like, it's a thing that girl, girls are like, you're insecure if you won't bring toys into the bedroom. Again, I'm not competing with a, a toy. The only time that I will al- not allow, but want to actually bring a toy into the bedroom is if, like, I'm, I'm dating a girl that's already used to toys. They're already used to using that vibrator and they need that to come. Then mm-hmm. I'll be like, listen... Bring it in and, you know, teach me how to use this thing. And then I'll be open-minded to it. But to give this girl the ability to only come with a vibrator when she didn't have that before, and now I can't use my dick as good as I used to to make you come, I'm not going to do that to myself. I'm not going to do that to our relationship. I get off knowing that everything that I make you feel, I'm doing with myself and my body. I love that. Fuck yeah. And if I can't make you come with just my dick, that's fucked up. (laughs) <laughs> that's fucked up that's fucked up I want to know that I can make you come with at least just my dick and my fingers no in mouth my, oh, uh, in my mouth I've realized a lot of people don't know how to eat pussy I am I, I think very I'm, good I, I like to think pussy. that I'm a pussy eating connoisseur I I think if there was a pussy eating contest I'm top one charts yeah. I'm fucking spreading the whole thing I'm getting the little fucking clit, like right on the little ball of the mm. clit I'm getting fucking all in that shit you know how you know you're good at eating pussy if you date a bisexual girl and she's like you're better than the chicks because the chicks know then what you they know. Yeah, they know what the fuck they But I've been, I've been told by the bisexual community that <laughs> I have been number one. And I think, that's a, I think yeah. that is a good chart I'm, to be at. I'm I think that, that's how you test it. Proud you got to eat a bisexual girl's vagina. And if you <laughs> do that, then you'll know. Because she could tell you. She'd be like, listen, you fucking did it, kid. Number yeah, one. yeah, yeah. You're, you're better than the people who know. I don't know. I think, I think sometimes you're born... Just knowing. With a natural ability. Knowing a good tongue to no pussy one, action. No, no, one, no one how to lie it down. Yeah. No one how to do it. Just knowing how to get your I think fucking I've always, carpet munching skills on. Yeah, I think I've always known how to just do it. How to move my, my motion around. How to, mm. motion, how to do the motion of the ocean. Do you like a clean shaved or a hairy? Or like a little stubble? I, I never what mind. I've, I've always been with girls that are like, no, we can't. I should no, but like if you, if you prefer, what would you prefer? I'm getting there. Just get there. I've always... I've always... <laughs> Like, told a girl that, because the girls have always been like, oh, no, like, I, I didn't shave, we can't. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't care. Really? You know what I mean? Do I prefer a fully shaved? Yeah, sure. Like, I, I think that's that's cute. Want to hear some it. weird shit? But I don't need it, you know? You want to hear some know, weird If you shit? like it, just to like maybe a little buzzed or like a landing strip, I don't care. The landing strip? The landing strip. Uh, I've never been with a girl that had a landing strip, but I think it's cute. How about there was a point in time that I was genuinely, I don't know, I don't know call called a kink. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck it was. It was in high school. It was fucking weird. But I enjoyed a nice, stubbly to slightly hairy vagina. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck it was. But you know why you can't? You know why actually I don't? And it was weird. You know why I don't like it? You know why I don't like it? Because I've yeah, been I, there. I go and fucking I've been with there. a machete mm. climbing in that pussy. No, but the reason... <laughs> the reason I don't like stubbly is because when you're eating it out, your face gets all like red and like fucked up from well, brushing against it. No, yeah, I agree. You get a little fucking mouth rash and it fucking mm. hurts. It hurts sucks. A lot. It hurts, sucks. hurts a lot. Yeah. Well, what are we doing for this Christmas, Gianni? We're going to head back home. Yeah, we're going home. For the holidays. And we're going to spend time with the family. And 
Honestly, get some family Jesus maybe time. Maybe we'll get a podcast set up back home if we could. A little Christmas time a little podcast. Christmas time podcast. Well, but even more so, we'll do it like on our couch at home, maybe. A little vibe by the fireplace. Talk with the family, get them involved. Maybe we'll do something fun for, for the people. Yeah. And we'll figure it out for you little guys. Little people thing. Little people thing. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler um, and a happy new year. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you want to see on the next one, and we will see you there. All of, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, ah, okay, goodbye, goodbye. Ah.